I used to be a fundamentalist. Not the Teletubby-hating, apocalypse-ready, Jerry Falwell type of fundamentalist, but the kind who thinks that God is pretty much figured out already, that he's done telling us anything new. What makes a person a fundamentalist is not so much the beliefs that they hold, but how they hold them. And I was holding mine with a death grip, partly because I was convicted, but mostly because I was afraid. I was afraid of being wrong, I was afraid of not having all the answers, and I was desperately afraid of change. This is the story of how I loosened my grip, of how I learned to hold my beliefs with an open hand in a position of surrender to God. It's not a pretty story, and it's not even really a finished story. It's more of a survival story, and it's the story of how I evolved in a little place called Monkey Town. My hometown of Dayton, Tennessee was just about the most famous place on earth for about two weeks back in July of 1925. That summer, John T. Scopes was tried in our county courthouse for violating a state law that forbade the teaching of evolution in public schools. Billed as a showdown between science and religion, the trial became known as the Scopes Monkey Trial, and it attracted thousands of people to our little town. Reporters, protesters, street preachers, peddlers, scientists, theologians, and famous politicians. As a result of all the mayhem, Dayton earned the unlikely nickname of Monkey Town. Today, Dayton is a small manufacturing town located in the buckle of the Bible Belt. There's a church on every street corner and a community gospel sing every Thursday night. Not much happens around here, but neighbors look out for each other, and it's a good place to call home. Dayton is a strange place to struggle with religious doubt, but that's exactly what happened to me in my early 20s, soon after I had graduated from a Christian college. I began to question everything I'd been taught about origins, about the Bible, about religious pluralism, about faith, about politics, about heaven and hell, and about what it means to be blessed by God. But what I learned through that process is that faith is incredibly resilient. Like a living organism, it has a remarkable ability to adapt to change in order to survive. My faith survived. It adapted. It evolved. And that's why I titled the book Evolving in Monkey Town, how a girl who knew all the answers learned to ask the questions. Yes, I-